What's up? What's happening, Cuse Nation? Welcome back to yet another edition of Orange Rush. We're back, and yes, we can say it again, everyone. Syracuse football is still undefeated going into week four as they clobber Purdue and should have clobbered them even more. Um, Long game, lots to talk about. Army coming up this week, but uh, we're alongside. I miss Eric Dungy, as always. Uh, Caroline, how are we doing? I'm doing pretty good. And hopefully it's not, that's not the last time we get to say that we're undefeated. So, yeah. Um, it was a good game. I thought, you know, obviously Garrett Schrader did absolutely amazing. And um, hopefully we can see that next week a little bit. I don't want him to run too much next week, though, because, you know, don't want him getting hurt. But, he yeah. was all over the place. Oh my goodness! He was everywhere, I mean, bro. Houdini <laughs> himself. I just, I, there, the emotions were all over the place. Like, don't do that. Do it. Keep going. No, stop. Go <laughs> the whole time. Um, but it was in a roller coaster of emotions. Garrett Schrader had a Heisman performance. Uh, quite honestly, uh, if he keeps that up the way he's been playing this year, we might have a different conversation in a couple of weeks. But yeah, right. Um. Initial and post-game thoughts from Purdue, I'd say the biggest takeaway for me was the two biggest takeaways for me on the negative side of things was um, we couldn't run the ball with LaQuint um, at all. There was no holes for him. He had to take it to the outside every single time. Um, And then our receivers. Obviously, we got the news around a Gadsden is out for the season. Huge devastation for the Orange. He could have really brought this team to another level. Um, but he's gone next man up mentality. Um, but the receivers really didn't step up, I guess. Um, tons of drops. Uh, they made catches when they needed to. Donovan Brown came up huge a couple times. I think he's going to be that guy. Um, but Umari Hatcher, huge drop right in the end zone. Reminded me of the Damian Alford catch a couple weeks ago. Or not catch, a couple weeks ago. But things to improve on. This is a very, they can get open. They really can. So all they got to do is catch it and uh, keep moving forward. Um, I'll let Caroline take away her negatives from the game and then we'll end on some positives from the Purdue game. Caroline, what were some bad things that you noticed and saw in that game? Um, Basically, what you said, you know. Um way way too many drops way too many like I man I I was I was in physical pain from those drops like some of those drops we could have been up by like three touchdowns if they didn't drop those like yeah and were, you know obviously Garrett Schrader didn't throw perfectly all night but he threw like pretty good all night and some yeah. of those passes that he like did to those receivers were like beautiful they were perfect and the receivers, like, they're right there in their hands and their arms. They're just, whoop. Like, like that can't happen. you got to catch those, like, very perfect passes that your quarterback gives to you. Um, yeah. A lot of roughing the passer. Uh, oh, well, penalties. Like, oh, don't get me yeah. started. Caroline, keep going before I go on a rant. Okay. I'm just saying in general, there were a lot of roughing the passer, like, um, calls, which – I feel like some of them were definitely roughing roughing the passer. Questionable, like some of them. Maybe, yeah, some of them were questionable, and, and they were on both teams, not just Syracuse, but like on Purdue too. It was very interesting. That was probably the most roughing the passer calls I've seen on, like even more than a Tom Brady game, and that's saying a lot. So, <laughs> like, um, some of the penalties that were on us, of course, of course, we're getting penalties. Um, not, not, you know, um, some things always stay the same, and. For, and so far, penalties, you know, for Syracuse. Um, very, very consistent with the penalties. <laughs> um, and some of those penalties that, you know, we got, it hurt us really bad. Um, th- yeah, that's about it, honestly. That's all the negatives I can really think of. Like, the biggest negative is definitely the drops. Like, if we didn't drop those passes, we would have won by so much more. Like, I can't – I. I get so mad thinking about it. I <laughs> Yeah. Um, positives. There was a lot of positives. I know we just talked about the negatives, but Syracuse did go into a primetime sold-out game in uh, Indiana um, on NBC and blow out the Boilermakers. Um, 
So that's a plus, right? Schrader, I think, is obviously the high point of this. He was amazing. And the mob, oh my goodness. Marlo Wax interviewed him a couple uh, couple videos ago. Um, he was up for the task. Um, it was just amazing. I really enjoyed the, the game overall. They were great. No, they were just great. I enjoyed watching it so much watching the game on the couch Syracuse on NBC on a Saturday night. It just hasn't happened a lot in our lives. And it was really neat to see and really great that they showed out. So right. yeah, that's my positive thoughts. Caroline, your positive thoughts. Dude, Garrett Schrader. I, I can't, <laughs> that man, that, that man's beard gives him the, the power of Eric Dungey or some something. Look at that. Yeah. I remember you made that in video arts. Oh my God. That's like ancient. Um like those oh my god, those fakes. They don't don't oh, the, 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 the touchdown. The touchdown left my jaw on the floor. I freaked out. I like screamed. I was jumping around my room after that touchdown because I would he he fooled me. He fooled me both times. And so it looks incredible. But Quinn and Garrett fooled me both times like i i couldn't believe my eyes i was like is this guy a magician like he he had the he didn't have the ball a second ago now he does oh my god like i was freaking out and my sister was laughing at me because she thought i was at my grandma's house so i i had to like and my sister and i sleep in the same room so i had to uh use their tv and my sister had to be in the same room as me and like she was looking at me really weirdly and laughing at me because i was freaking out so badly that's funny. <laughs> um, yeah, winning prime time uh, in a packed Purdue arena like that—that's that's, that's definitely that's something to be proud of. Like, because that's not an easy place to play whatsoever. It was loud in there; you could hear it from the camera or uh, from home, like uh, over the TV. And you know that it's, it's not easy. So honestly, props to them. Props to the mob. The mob played great. Marlo Wax. Uh, did absolutely amazing. Um, everybody played pretty well, except probably the wide receiver. Or yeah, O line didn't do great either. But you know, well, O line did pretty good. You think I was that? proud of them. I was proud of them. They well, played they were, pretty good. They were pretty hot and cold. I feel like like they had good moments, but they had yeah. some pretty bad. Because I feel like Garrett Schrader was running for his life like a lot. But it was because he wanted to. I feel like. Well, I feel a lot like of it. Schrader... I feel like some of it's because he wanted to, but I feel like a lot like the other is because like yeah i don't know yeah i was starting to get a little bit nervous though now that gadsden's gone schrader he can't we can't have that happen maybe against clemson oh no definitely not against clemson but we might we might actually need it to happen against clemson to win the game but that's a story for a different day we have army a team that had zero penalties last games. Last game. Syracuse could never do that. <laughs> zero penalties. Very disciplined. They love to run the ball. The triple option, quadruple option. Talk about fakes. Garrett Schrader, this is on a different level. Army came out with four running backs in the backfield the other day. How is that legal? How is it possible? They made it legal. They make the laws. They're army, okay? They came out, and I saw the most awkward-looking play I've ever seen in my entire life. The quarterback was like this. And and he, ga- he gave it to one of the four running backs in the backfield. They all ran separate ways, and they scored a touchdown. It was incredible. Um, Army's good, and they're not Purdue, but I think the Orange will have a tougher time with Army than – than Purdue. So here we are. Um, the the fans need to show out. That's my first key to the game. Um, it's enough is enough. Okay. Tickets are cheap. Syracuse is three and oh. You gotta put faith in them, guys. I know it's a noon game, but for the love of God, just I don't care. Show up at 9 a.m., drink, and then go into the dome, drink, and then just go to bed at 4 p.m. for all I care. Just show up at the dome and make some noise on third down. I've had enough of all this nonsense with 30,000 people showing up, a basketball crowd showing up to a football game. So um, that's my spiel. Key players. Key players. Believe it or not, Garrett Schrader isn't on this list today because I know he's going to play well either way. 
Donovan Brown, number one. He's a wide receiver. Needs to step up. No drops from anyone. Yumari Hatcher, another wide receiver. Two wide receivers in one game. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Yumari Hatcher. Uh, I saw that drop last game, and I said, oh, gosh. He's going to get that one back. And I know he will. I know in this game, Yumari's going to come out firing. Schrader's going to throw a deep ball to him, and he's going to score a touchdown. Yumari's going to come out come out hot this game, and he will not drop another pass again. He seems like that type of player. And LaQuinn Allen. Um, LaQuinn needs to step up his game. He's the replacement for Sean Tucker. Um, he needs to step up his game. There was n- not a good game. I don't care if you're playing the Purdue defensive front. When you're playing that Clemson defensive front next week, it's going to have to work. So might as well figure it out this week against Army. So... LaQuinn needs to step it up. Everyone needs to step it up. But those three players in particular, if they play good, the Orange will be fine in this game. Um, Caroline, who are your key players? Um. Okay, well, first of all, I feel like Army is very slept on, like, in general. Like, everyone's like, oh, it's Army, so, you know, we, we should win and blah, blah, blah. And it's like, okay, well, you 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 got to look at this. They, they, can, they can pass. They can run. And their defense is pretty good. So, like, like they're they're a real team. Like, they're not one of these cupcake teams. They're not like Western Michigan or Colgate or any of that. We're not this is not an easy win. This is not an easy win whatsoever. So it's for one, like you said, our wide receivers, they they can't drop any passes. They gotta they gotta catch the ball. They yeah. have to, and that's a must. Um, our O line is going to be very important against this defense. Their their run defense is very good, I, so I've heard. Um, so our O line has to step up for this game. They have to make holes for LaQuinn Allen. Speaking of LaQuinn Allen, gotta run, gotta step up the run game. Like LaQuinn Allen has to be able to find holes, has to be able to make some explosive plays and stuff like that. Just I love. Down. Yeah, I love watching Garrett run, but I love it too. But I also hate it. So LaQuinn, I get please. so <laughs> if he's down for more than a millisecond than normal, I will flip out. I remember one play he like he like um the uh, the uh, one of the defenders hit him in the head and he like grabbed his head and I was like it's over it's over. Did you see his knee on on the roughing the passer it. call? No, it bent in backwards. Did you just get up like it was nothing? Yeah. I was like, oh, my God. <laughs> Eric Dungy 2.0. Man, I love Eric Dungy, but, man, like, Garrett Schrader, like, he might be, like, actually New the New Twitter next handle, Tommy question Eric mark? Dungy. What? New Twitter handle, question mark? No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> hey, girl, I, I grew up with Eric Dungy. I got to I gotta keep Eric Dungy in there because, you know, I love the man too much. But okay. um, where was I? Love, oh, um. Who's our other wide receiver or our other uh, running back? Juwan Price. He's yeah, right, he's running back too, right? So I think if we, if, I I like that the fact that sometimes we use a mixture of Juwan Price and LaQuinn Allen, because I feel like Juwan Price can really like, he can really like explode, like, and he can get through the defensive line and stuff like that. So I feel like if we if we use a mixture of them, I feel like we can get things done. Um, our defense, obviously, um. Like I said, Army can pass the ball. They can run the ball. Like, they can do they can do it all on offense. So, our defense in general, the mob, has to step it up. I'm not I'm not too concerned about them because they, they've obviously proved themselves. They, they've been great these past three games. Um, so, yeah, that's about it. Just defense has to keep doing what they're doing. And um, wide receivers can't drop the ball. Running game has to um, – Step it up a little bit, and Garrett just has to keep doing what he's doing. Yeah, so keys to the game for both teams. Uh, Army, the run game has to be existent. I only say that because if the run game is there, then they th- can throw a couple deep balls, and that's the only chance I think Army has this game, if they can use both of those to their advantage by making the orange stack the box, stop the run, and then when they do stack the box, throw it deep. Um, That's going to be the the key to the game for army and for the orange you have to stay disciplined this is the most disciplined team you're you're going to play all year um even with the dome i'll talk about that in a minute we got a force false start on army um 
stay disciplined, catch the ball, and the fans need to show up. Um, we already harped on this. I'm not going to do it again. But one more thing for the fans watching uh, right now. If you're going to the Dome, uh, I know everyone likes to boo the opposing team when they run out of the tunnel. But this is Army. This is – they represent this country. So oh, for all the SU fans – um. Please, for the love of God, do not boo Army when they run out of that tunnel. Um, either stay quiet and do nothing, or if you're really feeling it, um, stand up and applaud them. Um, but uh, those are the two options for you. Pick and choose wisely. So do not boo Army. They're a class act. They've always been a class act. And uh, show respect to the Army fans also. So that's what I have to say about that. Um, prediction time. Caroline, take it away. I can think about my prediction, but do I have to give a numerical prediction? Do I have Yes, to? has to be numerical. You suck. All right. <laughs> Our numerical predictions have been incredible this year. Not mine. My last time sucked. I, I was 20 to 17 Syracuse. And- I said 27, 17, and then 40, I said 52 to 7 the week before, and we won 48 to 7, so... I'm on a roll. You need to start making, like, really unrealistic scores. You need to start making Syracuse, like, win by a lot. Because clearly you're, like, good luck or something. Or, like, they model after your your predictions. Yeah. Um, I kind of want this to be a high-scoring game. I feel like this is going to be a high-scoring game. Okay. So, hmm. I'm going to go Syracuse. 30... Hmm. Syracuse 38, I think. And then Army, I'm going to go with like, is 38 even possible? Here, this is this is why I'm so bad at Because like, is 38 po- 38's 38 possible? Possible? Yes. Or like, without safeties? Because safeties are rare and st- stuff like that. Okay. Five and touchdowns Army, and a field goal, 38. Okay. And then Army, I'm going to say is like, 20, 28. All yeah. right. So it just so happens that I'm keeping my streak going. I think the orange wiped the floor with Army. Um, keeping it close, maybe for a little bit, maybe not. Um, final 38 Syracuse, 10 Army. Uh, the mob shows out again, and this offense finally finds its stride with time in between these games to finally make plays without Gadsden in the mix and uh, get this offense rolling for uh, an exciting year for the Orange. So be loud. Let's start the wave if there's enough fans there. Um, For Marlo Wax, he might do it with us. Um, Yeah, so Syracuse 38, Army 10, and Syracuse 38, Army 28 for Caroline. Those are our predictions. The spread right now is 13 and a half to Syracuse. We obviously both see them covering, but Army is going to be a class act. They're going to be good. It's going to be fun having them in the dome again after 30, 30 or so years. Uh, it's going to be exciting. So uh, cheers to another great week, Caroline. Hopefully we're saying the same exact thing next week. I'm really hoping. I'm so excited for this game. I'm really excited to get back in the dome and cheer for the Syrac- for Syracuse. And I really hope that we get a uh, more people in the dome this week because so far the crowd in the dome has been pathetic. Which I understand because we're playing we play Colgate in Western Michigan, which I understand they're not they're cupcake schools. Like of course we're gonna win, but now that we're three zero, and now that the this team has like somewhat proven to people that they're like at least a little bit legit. Like let's get, let let's get some support. Like why not? Like if, if you're not doing anything on this Saturday, like what is your reason to not go? Like if, if you're busy, if you have plans already planned, like like don't worry about it. But like no, worry about it. You're gonna be at the dome. Cancel your plans and go to the dome. I she's just trying okay. to be nice. This is a good cop bad cop situation. Get in the dome. Be loud on third down. And if you're not there watch it and yell at the TV with the same exact voice. Okay, well, no, but I'm just saying, like, it, I, I, like the people who are like, oh, we got to be 
we gotta be seven and zero before I go to a game and stuff like that. Like th- those, I'm I'm mainly talking to those people because like it's so stupid to me. Like just go out and support your team. Like you you want Syracuse to win? Okay, go help us force some false starts on Army. Like go or like any opposing team, go help us force some false starts on like the opposing team in general. Like like uh, show your support. Like just do it. Show your support. <laughs> Show your support. Pack the dome. Especially pack the dome for Clemson. If you're not going to pack the dome for Army, pack the dome for Clemson. Hey, hey, hey. Pack the dome for both of them. On that note. Both of them. (laughs) On that note, that was the last. This That was the next episode of Orange Rush. (laughs) Stay tuned. Uh, This should be released Wednesday night. And tomorrow night, there will be the Syracuse versus Army hype video. Um. Caroline enjoyed it. Um, I think it's pretty good. Pretty good. So hopefully Solid you enjoyed what? Solid eight out of ten. Solid eight out of ten. You heard it here first, everyone. So uh one other video that you haven't seen yet will be right here. And uh we will see you guys next week. Go orange.